Hello guys, what is up? It is your boy, Nicholas Gray, aka Spooky Noodles, and I am here with book mail. Um, I've been trying to kind of, you know, wait for books to get here, but I can't wait any longer. Um, yeah, I was gonna just do one big book haul, but, uh, I'm just gonna continue the book mail videos, um, the way they are. Um, I try not to show book mail if it's only like one book, but well, that's what I did this time around. I uh, I got one book two days ago, and I was like, you know what? Let's not do a book mail just yet. Let's wait a few days until we get another book. And everything's supposed to be delivered, but nothing's getting here. So USPS is moving mighty slow lately, um, but that's okay. I understand, you know. It's the times we're living in, so I can't be mad. But uh, I do also have an Amazon package being delivered today, sometime today, and I'm looking forward to that. So when that comes, I will also do a video for that, and it will probably just be in one big video. So you'll probably see three books today. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's just hop into the book mail. So the first book I got here came from the UK from, uh, oh, it was an Etsy seller. It was like, it, uh, Zia Library or something like that. I forget what it was. It started with an X. Um, they're in the UK. And this book is Thomas Tessier's Phantom. Now, I already own this book, but I really wanted this one with the die cut cover because the die cut cover is so epic. I know you can't probably see that very well, but that cover is so epic. So, let me read to you what this book is about, and then we'll move on to the next book. So, here we go. Ned was only a kid, but he knew there were forces that stalked the night. Like that night in Washington when his mother almost died, and he heard them. In the house, at dead of night, he heard them. Then they moved to the tiny seacoast town of Linnington. He still knew, even there. Something was coming after him. In the end, Ned must face the terror alone. He must seek out the phantoms on their own ground and fight them for his very soul. Though a th Through a long night of cataclysmic battle, it's him up against them. And uh, if you don't know who Thomas Tessier is, he wrote a book called... Uh, what was the book called? Um... Oh, The Night Walker. Um, so, uh, yeah. I have The Night Walker as well. Gotta read that eventually. I hear it's kind of a werewolf book. I'm not really sure, though. Um, but yeah, Phantom by Thomas Tessier. This is a coming-of-age story, and I love coming-of-age stories. So, yeah. Um, I have the other one, like, right over there. And I could do a cover comparison, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't want to get up right now, so... Yeah, so the next book, and I'm sorry for the crappy quality of this video. Uh, I had to turn the light off because it was it was too bright. I should probably do this downstairs, but eh, I decided to do it up here. So the next book I got is all the rave on Books of Horror Facebook group. And that is Felix Blackwell's Stolen Tongues. Now this cover is great. Um, I don't know much about it other than everyone was telling everyone to buy it. Um, I do know, though, that this was a Reddit story on the No Sleep uh, Horror Community on uh, Reddit, as I said before. Um, and actually, it says here it was originally a contest winning story. And this is a big book, you know, this is um, this is 306 pages, but the font's kind of big. That's OK, though. Um, so let me read to you. Uh, the synopsis and then yeah so here we go a romantic cabin getaway doesn't go exactly as planned high up in on the windswept cliffs of pale peak Faye and felix celebrates their new engagement but soon a chorus of ghastly noises erupts from the nearby woods the screams of animals the cries of children and the mad babble of a hundred mournful voices. 
A dark figure looms near the windows in the dead of night, whispering to Faye. As the weather turns deadly, Felix discovers that his terrified fiance isn't just mumbling in her sleep. She's whispering back. So yeah, um, this book is sounds epic. Um, everyone's saying it's super scary. They said the prologue alone is worth reading. So I don't know when I'm going to get around to this one. I always say that about these books. But honestly, it's all the rave right now on the Books of Horror Facebook community pay, uh, group. And uh, yeah, I'm almost tired of seeing it about it. But um, there's got to be hype for it for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It's like Stephen King, you know. Sure, not all Stephen King's books are great masterpieces but um he has a lot of good ones so um, yeah so yeah like i said there's a lot of hype for this book so i'm looking forward to reading it one day and yeah so that is my book mail that i have so far in the next clip you hopefully will see the amazon package i'm getting today so yeah i'm gonna say goodbye just for now and then we'll talk in the next clip so peace hello i'm back so I just got the book in the mail, and uh, yeah, the book I got is by Greg F. Uh, I'm gonna jack this name up, but Greg F. Giffoon. Giffoon? Giffoon? I don't know how to say that, but this is Devil's Breath, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a small book. Um, well, not really small. It is 223, so it's an average size book. Unless your average size book is like over 300 pages. But uh, yeah, for me, this is an average book. So let's read the back, which it's a little bit of a long synopsis, but we'll, we'll read it. All right, so here we go. In a dying coastal town near Cape Cod, Stanley Folk lives a quiet and unassuming life as a dishwasher. A shell of what, what and who he was was... Stanley is a man with a dark and violent past who does his best to forget by drinking it all away. But one morning, he awakes to find his meager bank account emptied and his memory of the drunken evening prior wiped clean. Vague memories and terrible nightmares of evil gods, distant planets, and a hideous room where torture has been practiced and blood flows like water haunt his every waking moment. Something depraved is intent on dragging him back into the same pit of darkness he's fought his entire life to crawl out of. And now there are others in the shadows watching his every move and luring him closer to the truth beyond comprehension, beyond evil, beyond anything he's ever imagined possible. You worship what you do not know. So yeah. My arm is killing me. Oh, sorry. It's, it was hard keeping that book. So, as you can see, Amazon didn't really give a fuck. Um, the package was all torn. Uh, in fact, water got to the book because um, it's kind of drizzling outside right now. So, I'm a little kind of disappointed with Amazon with this one. The book's all curved and stuff. It got, it, it, I don't know. But it's still readable, so that's all that really matters in the end. So, uh, yeah. That's my book mail. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a spooky night. And yes, I'm saying peace out. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, bye guys.